Ashley. It's Rashane, aka Vegas. All right, guys. Today there will be an outdoor track meeting after school, starting at two thirty in the cafeteria. Bus passes will be provided. Also, if you're in, any girls interested in soccer, there will be a meeting March sixth at two twenty-five in Mr. Led's room. There are um, flyers all around the hallways for more information. If you guys would like to be interested in that, also. We have a college fair next Wednesday. Rasheen will kick that off to you guys. So, all Vikings who are protecting their plan, we have a college fair that's coming up. Over 50 colleges will be here. If you want to protect your plan, you want to make it to college, you want to do big things, mm -hmm. I suggest you be there. Show up. It's going down. Let's get it. Yeah! Next Wednesday from 6.30 to 8 is that college fair. So make sure you guys come out and just try to get as much information as possible. And juniors, if you want to go to prom, you have to have all obligations and fees paid for. So if you're trying to go to prom, you know, get it taken care of. Seniors as well. The juniors is just, they're new. It just came up. So if you're looking and figuring out if you have obligations or do or not, the list is outside of Ms. Coley's office. Also, um, the FAFSA, a lot of people don't know, but there are deadlines for the FAFSA. The federal deadline is October 1st. The state of Ohio deadline is June 1st and then colleges have certain deadlines as well so you guys need to be looking up the colleges you have applied to and see when their deadlines are. Don't wait till the last minute because you won't get any money. Don't wait till the last minute. Alright guys. Do it time. Sports. This is Fast Pitch. Starting at Catcher. It's Big Ball! Get used to it! <laughs> Starting at Pitcher. Bricks. And the guy who's going to strike out One. Just for you guys' information, fast pitch um, training, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 to 8, be there. It'll be the best fast pitch team in the world. I'm here to talk to you guys about OGT week. As we all know, sophomores have to take their OGTs in order to graduate, and this week is actually coming up very soon. It's from March 10th to the 14th. In past years, upperclassmen who had passed their OGTs the first time were able to come later in the day, but now there's a little bit change. Um, upperclassmen who have passed their OGTs prior have to be on track to graduate. They can't have any Fs. They can't be credit efficient, and they have to at least show that they've applied to at least one college and able to come late and after the underclassmen take their OGTs. So make sure you're on top of your things and you're finishing all of that so you can come in late, sleep in, and all of that good stuff because nobody really wants to be here at 7.15. <laughs> It's Faith Free with your help tip of the day. Today we have a very special guest here, Melissa Stewart, and she's going to tell us about her new healthy lifestyle. Um, well, I've been a vegan since the summertime, and it's been great, but right now I'm doing mono meals, where I'm eating high amounts of raw fruits and vegetables, so for like one meal I'll just eat like ten bananas, or yesterday for lunch I had seven bell peppers, and like that's all you eat then, and so if you eat a mono meal, it's good for your digestion, because your stomach is only focusing on one food, and it kind of serves as like a detox without having to starve yourself, so... That's what I've been doing. Thank well, thank you, Melissa, for sharing that with us. Have a good day, guys. grinds my gears. The fact that at the Grammys, no offense to Macklemore, he's a great artist, but he won over so many other artists that I feel are well-deserving of, especially in the rap group section. And do you know why Macklemore won? This is why they won, because of people like her. They do not buy... I don't look. I don't buy stuff off iTunes. I'm not about to spend 10.99 on a CD. Like, what if I don't like the whole thing? I mean, I know that well, you, if you like no, the artist no, enough. No, if you no, like the no, artist no, enough, you no, should be a well-supported no. person. If you were an artist, what do you want to First buy your album? Okay, y'all. Look, I'm about to spend eleven dollars on an album when I can sit there and get on freaking Share Beast, download it for free, and listen to it. Be happy on my way. And plus, they they leak early. I'm about to wait till it come out on iTunes. It okay. leaks early. I don't get my music. What so I want. I you, can hear it, y'all. So when you become an artist yeah. and you want people to buy your music, you're trying to make money, make hit records. He's gonna be rich anyway. You, um, no. you sign a contract. He's gonna be rich anyway. No. They're gonna be rich. They're gonna be no. They're gonna be nice. Anyway. Grammys based their votings off of who made the most sales on iTunes. 
So that is why Macklemore won most of the Grammys in the rap section because of people like her because they don't buy stuff on iTunes. So basically, stop downloading illegal music and buy your crap on iTunes. Thank you.